I found out where we left off on Homestuck, so I wanted to read a little bit more of Homestuck because I'm a dirty, dirty, trashy Homestuck. Um, how is everyone doing today? I am doing okay-ish. Um, Plasma today, um, but that's okay. I'm going. I'm gonna go on Tuesday, just because that's the when I normally go. I donate plasma. That's a lot of fun. Um, and okay, so I gotta get comfy. I'm sorry about fan noises. As you all know, I live in my van for the most part, so. I live in Florida too, so hot. I have my co-pilot Daisy. Daisy's not in the bed right now. She's laying on in her bed. Hi, baby. And she just moved. She's so cute. Okay. So, Nepeta consult with friend on the matter. Arsenic catnip AC began trolling centa centaur's testicle CT. AC twitches her friendly whiskers at CT. Hi. CT perplexes over where he put that important wrench that he needed for building a fancy robot or something. He says, now where did that silly old wrench go? Look, what are you expecting to accomplish with this? But oh look, CT peeks around the corner to find that a very playful kitty has stolen the robot wrench and is now kicking it vigorously with her hind legs. This is a foolishness upon 100,000 prior equally unsolicited foolishness. You'll stop now. Rawr. You're so lame. I am, I'm not, I'm fine. No lame? No, I'm not lame. No, you've never played a fun pretend game with me ever, even once. Even Carcat does it sometimes, even if he does mean it in a grumpy and insincere way, but at least it's still fun. Yuck, don't pollute my incoming data stream with his name or any sort of extramental language you pick up from his ilk. I see right through your stupid act. Who are you trying to kid? Look how you go out of your way to use words that have excess in them so that you can use your silly percent signs. Or use these absurd words that you can shoehorn a hundred into, even if it's not stri strictly for, uh, replacing L-O-O. -O. You are so transparent. I can tell you like to play games. Deep down, you are a guy who likes to play games. I can smell a guy who likes to play games from sulfur away with this nose. You'll, you have no idea. If you're looking for a loophole through which you may extract concessions from me, you'll have to uh, look elsewhere. What the hell? Nepeta, what did I say about that awful language? I won't stand for it and you'll stop. Oops, sorry, your francinization with the base classes have uh, loosened your morals. You Can't you see this? No, I don't care. They are fun, and I don't know anything about classes or bases or blood cloudler. It doesn't matter. What does green blood even mean? It doesn't mean anything to me, and it shouldn't mean anything to anyone else. Well, green blood is okay, but it's not great. But that's why you're lucky to have me to look out for you, because you don't know, because you don't know better, and you can't fight the role the mother had in store for you. Ugh. You are such a hypocrite. You pretend to be so high and mighty, but I know you're not, and I know you like games. Look at all that silly little... Look at the silly little bow and arrow you always type. It's always there. You never forget. Why would you do that if it wasn't a, pl it wasn't a playful, fun thing? I am so onto you. My bow and arrow are highly dignified symbols. LOL. BS. Archery is among the highest and most exceptional crafts held in tremendous regard uh, by the most aloof classes for centuries. You suck at archery. No. 
Yes. No. Yes. No, I don't. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever even successfully fired an arrow? Like, actually got one to leave the bow? I think we need to stop talking about archery. Nuh-uh. Yes. No. We will stop talking about archery. The topic is making me sweat. Ew. Uh, you are so gross. No, you're the one who exercises distasteful practices. No, that's you. Everyone knows you're a weirdo and a creep. That's why you're lucky to have me to keep an eye on you. No one else can stand you. You exterminate beautiful, innocent creatures by the hundreds. I can't condone such wretched behavior. Beasts are meant to be looked upon with adoration. But I eat them. I don't kill anything I don't eat. That would be mean. I guess that's basically acceptable in principle, but I still find it a bit unsavory. Well, I think your habits are unsavory. No, they're not. Yeah, huh? you're wrong about me, Nepeta. I do like to play games, but they must be extremely important games with very high stakes. Not the kind played with trans translucent green wrigglers who let loose an ex extramental uh, surge hard in their wiggler bottom diaper stubs. As it happens, I have arranged to play just such a game tonight. Aradi and I have a private engagement to be co-leaders of the blue team. Oh yeah, well, just by perchance, it happens that AC has a private and sneaky engagement to play this game as well. And by per sneaky twist of uh, fate, she will be on the red team uh, with her other great friends who like to play their childish diaper poop games face absolutely not absolutely i forbid this you will take your position on the blue team with me yeah right i will take my position into this funny pounce ball and tackle you that's nonsense you're nowhere even remotely within my proximity that would be necessary to execute such a maneuver ac rolls her eyes almost as hard as she's rolling around in this really interesting smell. The thought of you fraternizing with and abetting those stink-blooded hooligans strikes me as scandal beyond measure. I'm afraid you're too delicate to withstand that sort of corruption. It's forbidden. No, -uh. Yes, you won't. No, I will. You won't. Streamlabs exploded because it does that. Um, so I am telling you, you're you not to. You will be on my team. That's final. Blog. Quiet. Why do you do this? Why are you so confident about your stupid commands? Don't you know you can't actually tell me what to do? It's not like you even have any special mind powers or telepathy or anything. No. I do not, and yet you will do as I say. Yes, we will. We will just see about that. Yes, we will. You will join me on my team shortly. Stand for by for further instructions. <laughs> You're angry, and I appreciate it, but it doesn't matter. Discussion over. Sad face. Hi, baby. Up, up, up. She likes to up, up. Come on, up, up. You ready? Up, up, up. I love you. Okay. Daisy is up, up. It's on the bed. She's going to snake around. Give Tavris the bad news. Arsenal Catnip AC began trolling audios to Adora AT. AC curls up in Tavris's lap. Okay, uh, 
for the time being and for the sake of uh, this fantasy scenario, I pretend that my cat allergies aren't that bad. AC takes a long nap and then wakes up and frowns because she has bad news. Oh no, is what I say about the bad news, not the nap. Tavros, I'm sorry, I can't be on your team. I'm not allowed. Oh, that's okay, then I guess he said no then. Yes, unfortunately. Rorg, I'm so mad. It's probably for the best that you listen to him. I don't know. You think so? Well, if you don't listen to him before, if you didn't listen to him before, you might have uh, played games with us before and something bad might have happened to you. Hmm, perhaps, but I still feel bad. I'll find another player. It's not a big deal. Good luck being on the blue team. Okay, thanks. You fondly recall your days of far more intensive role playing. Uh, it seems like so long ago now, aside from a few unfortunate moments, it was a lot of fun. If you had to do it all over again, you suppose you, se you would select better company. Maybe this game you were playing tonight will rekindle some of that excitement. Tinkerbell? Some time ago, flashback. You stand in your room on a healthy pair of legs and in a plucky little outfit. You are a low-level boy Skylark and you wield an inexpensive dagger lance, which is the closest thing to a jousting lance you could wield that is still compatible with your favorite class. You are about to play a popular game called FLARP, which unlike most games published by major developers, was given a graceful and aesthetically pleasing name. It's a title under the extreme role-playing genre, and playing it without caution can have serious, real-world consequences. But that's what makes it fun. When you activate Flarp Scrub, the campaign program for tonight will begin. Team Charge will duel Team Scourge, as usual. This is going to be great. Tavros, contact fellow, member, uh, fellow Team Charge member. Adios Toradora AT began trolling Apocalypse Arisen AA. Aradia McGrub is laying now, so I'll be ready soon. Cool. Mine too. I don't know where Terezi is, though. She's running late. Oh, uh, should we wait? No, I'll be there. I'll be there clouding her campaign for her. Regardless, so with or without her, her loss if she doesn't make it. It will give you a chance to gain some ground, okay? You pick a t you picked a tough class, Tavros. None of the really useful combat abilities come into play until you reach a very high le level. But I suppose it will be rewarding when you get there. Yeah, I think you're right, but it's the class I think it I think is most fun. And battle skill is is bleh. battle skill is not all there is to be a great adventurer. I couldn't agree more. You might be the only flarper in the world who really understands the true spirit of the game. Everyone else is so aggressive and treasure hungry, but that's what makes beating uh, them all the more satisfying. Yeah, I guess. Remember, your clouder isn't going to pull any punches tonight. Don't fall for her mind games. I'll be here to assist, of course. If you're in trouble, don't hesitate to ask for help. Yeah, I won't. Thanks, Aradia. No problem. Tavros, Hatch Campaign. Your campaign's gaming uh, flapstrations hatches out of their eggs. These comprise all the data and procedures you will need for your adventure tonight. They disperse throughout the terrain surrounding your hive. They follow both programmed and live instructions by your clouder, a member of Team Scourge whose role is to provide you with a challenging scenario while your teammate does the same for Scourge's other player. Tavros, go outside and begin adventure. You take your starting position in the field. The game is afoot and anything can happen now. It's up to you to consult your maps and work with your teammate to discover the objective of the quest. Find treasure and slay monsters. Your stat bat has bonded with you. This keeps track of every attribute for your character, including vitals. While these attributes in principle remain abstractions due to the fact that this is an extreme role playing, they will always relate in some way to your real life attributes as well. You've got to be careful out here. Hold up, I got an itch itch. My daisy do. Hi baby. 
creepy. Okay, I got the itch. A little later, show pester love. Arachnoids Grip AG began trolling Adios Toradora AT. Well, uh, hey, boy Skylark, are you going to just stand there all night? Make your move, make your move, make your move. I just think these monsters are too strong. Sorry, but they don't seem appropriate for this campaign. Weak? Darn it. Huh. Oops. Um, weak, weaky, weaky, weak. Uh, weaky? Is that a real thing to say? Yes, your blatant excuse making is the weakest lame that ever shit the coward bed. Roll your dice, make your move. Advance or abscond? I can't abscond. There's no, uh, absconding place? But absconding is what you do best. I don't, uh, I don't manage to cloud this scenario. Okay, I, what was eight again? I, uh, don't man I haven't managed to cloud a scenario yet you couldn't squawk out of in a blazing trail of cluck beast feathers um you cannot hope to beat Tavros Nitrum in, a, in an abscond off he is simply the best there is uh that sounds flattering theoretically but I don't think hey pipe down make your move advance or abscond advance or abscond roll Tavros roll okay hold on for one moment Adios to Adora began trolling uh, Apocalypse or is an AA. Aradia, hey, are you there? Um, hmm. Adios to Adora AT began trolling Gallows Calibrator. GC, hey, Terezi, I have a problem. Uh, Arachnid's Grip began trolling. Arachnid's Grip AG began trolling Adios to Adora AT. No one can help you, Tavros. Okay, time to decide. Where is everyone? What does uh, that have to do with your present cowardness? I don't know. Probably nothing. Are you going to roll? Hmm? Uh, no, I can't. Why not? Because I was thinking about the numbers and it's impossible for there to be a favorable outcome no matter what the dice do. So you give up? Yeah, maybe. Why not roll and make it official? Why would you want to cheapskate me out of a uh, bonus like that? It's so thoughtless. Uh... And I'm going to have to make, uh, am I going to have to take matters into my own hands to make your move for you? I thought you couldn't use powers. I mean, real life powers, not game ones. It's against the rules. But if you are going to break the rules and refuse to roll, what choice do I have? I hate that I have to be the one to do this, but what can I do? Tavros, have I mentioned how cute you look in that plucky little outfit? Why, if I didn't know better, I'd say I was playing with Pupa Pan himself. Isn't that what you want Tavros to be like Pupa? Of course you do. What boy wouldn't want to be like Pupa? So dashing and brave. He is everything you are not. For one thing, he can fly. Do you want to fly, Tavros? Have you ever tried to fly? I bet you haven't. How about we take to the skies, Pupa? Ha <laughs> ha. You like the idea, Pupa? Yes, you do. I can feel it in your simple, malleable brain. I want you to fly so bad. Fly, pupa, fly. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Fly, pupa, fly. <laughs> Adios, Tora, dumbass. Arachnids grip AJ. Cease trolling. Adios, Toradora AT. Adios Toradora began uh, trolling Carcissino Geneticist CG. AG just jumped me off a cliff with my brain and uh, my legs also and uh, now they feel invisible. Now, wow, I'm sure there was a better way to say that. Anyway, that's really all there is to report on the subject of me getting hurt. Hey, asshole, stop playing games for girls. <laughs> Persistino Geneticist CG Cease Trolling Audios Toradora AT. Back to the present. But not too far into the present, right around this moment with Car Cat in the toilet during a conversation we've ha already had, which ended like this. Oh boy, you need to get with the program, Car Cat. Have you talked to AAA? 
AA what? Apocalypse Arisen, sorry. No, of course not. Or T A R A G, I guess, or C A. Really, there's like this whole conspiracy about this uh, A S, as I'm finding out. Well, well, why don't you just tell me so I don't have to talk to any of those double talking assholes? I can't. Gotta step out of the tree for a moment. When I come back, I will enter the game. See ya. Cal Gallows Calibrator, GC, Cease Trolling, Carcissino, Geneticist, CG. Our Arachnids group AG began trolling Carcissino, Geneticist, a CG. Psst, hey, brave leader. Oh my god, why are you talking to me? Can I join your team? Yes, I am glad you asked, because there is a wide open slot for the most vile, backstabbing sociopath who has ever lived. You really helped me out of a jam by stepping forward. Vile, backstabbing, sociopath, carcat. Did you copy and paste that phrase directly from your personal ad, ad describing what you are looking for in a lady? Carcat's not looking for a lady, though. <laughs> Ha ha ha, more cagey, cutesy bullshit. Like, I'm not up to my lobe stem with that already having to deal with Terezi. You both must have been insufferable when you were a team. Your opponents probably all just tried to commit suicide after a few minutes of putting up with your fangy grin drivel. That's probably how it all went down when the shit hit the thresher. That's not a bad guess, but man, Carcat. You sure are giving me a hard time. I don't see how we're supposed to be becoming friends. If you recoil from my olive branch like I am a twitching a I'm twitching a mummified bovine phallus in your direction. <laughs> becoming friends, what the fuck? We will never be friends, moron. Not even hate friends. No, more like twitchy eye projectile vomiting and utter disgust friends while I perforate my bone bulge with a calling fork. Yes, I'll take it. Get lost. Anyway, I was just joking about wanting to be on your team. I am already on the blue team. Oh, oh really? Wait, let me count out eight of these things. Hold on. Question, 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 question mark. There, I am now an enormous tool forever. Yes, Aradia and I have an arrangement. We will be co-leaders, but really, I will be the leader. Hish, <laughs> don't tell anyone. What do you think, Karka? Can you take on two dangerous ladies at once? Yawn. Come on, aren't you a little nervous that I will oppose you? You should be. No, you're just a run-of-the-mill little psycho girl, a troll, cager, a dozen. I will be t taking apart the blue team with brutal efficiency, you'll see. You've never played one of, a, one of your dumb games with me, so you've never had the privilege of seeing what I could do. Enjoy this show, sweetheart. Just don't even think about using your mind control tricks on my players. Remember your truce? Psh, those days are behind me. Anyways, I can't control just anybody. They have to be impressionable, like you. You can't control me. Sure I can, I just choose not to. Oh, yeah, okay. I find your mind totally unplatable to browse. Looking into your brain is like pawing through a smelly dumpster full of broken glass and razor blades. And poop. Whatever, don't even try it. I've got the better Scourge sister on my team, and if you break your truce, you'll have to answer to her. The funny thing is, she was always way better than you, even without any powers. Yeah, that's right. I know your whole story. You were always jealous she could manipulate people so well without resorting to cheap mind tricks. Haha. <laughs> I could tell this burns you, and I can't even paw through your dumpster. Chalk it up as another infuriating victory for gutter blood over our what's this word aristocracy oh what's that nothing to say wow speechless i guess you're probably crying right now that would make my fucking day 
hey, look at me being the one to talk shit at warp speed, then log off before you could reply, bye, idiot. Cursicino Geneticist CG ceased trolling Arachnids Grip AG. Cursicino Geneticist CG began trolling Arachnids Grip AG. Oh, back so soon, did you, uh, did your thumb slip on the button? I guess you can't get enough of me. You made me do that, and you know it. <clears throat> you don't uh, got nothing on me and you can't prove shit. Anyway, Carcat, I just wanted to say heart. Our arachnids grip AGC trolling Crisisino Geneticist CG. Oh, give me a second. I need to get a drinky drink. Okay. Carcat, be the other asshole. You are now the other- oh. Oh god. You decide that we could probably stand to delay this guy's introduction a little longer. Why don't we see what someone else is up to? Anyone? Hurry! You switch to a vague teaser of the final unseen troll in the nick of time. Cool, prod. Cool. Aradia, go home. You head back to your hive to get the blue team's session started. It's been a while. You revisit the remains of your quaint rural hive, your lawn rig, and the small excavation sites you dug up for practice are all overgrown with vegetation. You haven't been here since the night of the accident. On that night, you found your calling. The voices of the dead grew louder, urging you to return to the ruins you discovered not long before. Sorry. Discord. Okay. Um... You haven't been here since the night of the accident. On that night, you found your calling. The voices of the dead grew louder, urging you to return to the ruins you discovered not long before. You left so abruptly, you didn't even have time to bury your Lucis. But that's fine, because trolls don't typically bury their dead. Leaving bodies to be consumed by wild animals is more customary. Aradia began session. You have an arrangement to begin the session as co-leader with one of the Blue Bloods. You understand this player intends to make such a power, to make a power grab, and take sole possession of the leadership row. Such a sub a subterfuge is typical of their caste, but you're perfectly okay with this. It's one of the many things you're you're okay with. You allow your co-player to take the lead and enter the medium first. You understand that the leadership role is essentially meaningless, aside from offering the distinction of being the first player to enter. You also understand that entering the game second was always your intention. Aradia, connect to server player. You have a server player connect to you, someone you personally selected for the role. The device required for entry is, uh, for entry the, the devices required for entry are deployed. The Colonel Spray awaits prototyping, but unlike all 11 other players, your dead Lucis is not available. You have to use something else. Aradia, Tier 1 Prototype. Prototyping with the Froghead before entering the medium would prove to be critical for later success. Just another uh, another of many assurances whispered by the dead. You've long since stopped questioning them or doubting the future significance of any of even spontaneous acts of frivolous uh, disurrection. Dis <laughs> Compelling your nonplus uh, server player to perform this task might have proven difficult. Luckily, your telekinesis and ability greatly magnified through your calling would be sufficient to move the massive object, whereas the game cursor likely would not. Your server player simply watched in mystification. boop a doop -a -doop. She really just had no idea what the hell was going on. 
Aradia enter, you enter the medium, taking your place in the land of quartz and melody as the maid of time. Meanwhile, your client player has been exploring another world. The blue blood has a present for you. The present cannot be duplicated via alchemy at this stage of the game. It will cost too much grist, a detail which this player had not been aware of. The player would have to progress to the second gate of their own world, arrive through the gate above your hive, and deliver it in person. Facilitating this delivery was one of the reasons why it was important for you to enter second. Your server player's confusion is only in part due to learning the ropes of a new game. There is more significant reason for her befuddlement. While she followed your advice and went through the simple motions of game setup at no point were you visible on her monitor. She saw your damaged hive, she saw the alchemeter and other devices she deployed. She saw the strange computing device on the floor bearing the visage of a species as she did not didn't recognize. She even saw a great big stone frog head fly through the air all by itself and become the frog spike. And though she would ask why you would always delay the answer, the fact remains she couldn't see you. Aradia, tier 2 prototype. She couldn't see you up until the moment after the sprite's second prototyping because you were dead all along. You are now completely blown away by the stunning, the stunning revelation. Wow, dead really like a ghost? Huh. Nepeta, interrogate frog girl. A uh, rac- arsenic catnip AC began trolling apocalypse arisen AA. Aradia, I can see you. That is you, right? Yes. Why are you floating? Uh, why, are, why are you the floating frog all of a sudden? I'm dead. My sprite merged with the frog sprite. Wow, dead really like a ghost. Huh. Well, I hope this doesn't make me sound dumb, but I am completely blown away by the stunning revelation. You don't sound dumb. Where? Whew. How did you die? I ignored the advice of a friend and made some bad choices. AC rumples up her nose in perplexment as AA's really vague and spooky answer. But really, that's good because I kind of think I don't want to know. It's making me sad to think about it. Okay, Nepeta, can you please keep this a secret? Yes, I promise. I won't tell anybody about it. And by promise, I mean promise. Just so you know, I'm serious. Thank you, Rivet. Whoops. <laughs> Aradia, be the huge bitch. Huge bitch. Blah. Enter name. Your name is Verska Skirit. You are a master of extreme role-playing. You can't get enough of it or really any game of high stakes and chance. You have persisted with the habit even in spite of your accident. But then again, you don't have much choice. Your Lucis is very hungry all the time. She can only be appeased by the flesh of young trolls. You cloud uh, campaigns for teams of LARPers, utilizing your abilities for orchestrating the demise of the impressionable. Your victories supply you with treasure, experience points, and spider food. If you you are something of a of an apocalypse buff, which is something you can be on Eternia. You are fascinated by end of the world scenarios and enjoy construction constructing doomsday devices. For the hell of it, you are drawn to means of dark prognostication and the advantages they offer particularly in gaming scenarios. Your abilities in this department were hobbled with the loss of your vision a fold, and you have since sought alternatives through various black oracles. You consult with the, those the, these ominous globes, but routinely destroy them in frustration over the puzzling gra- guaranteed inaccuracies of their predictions. Uh, breaking them has developed into a habit Bordering on, bordering on fetishistic. And with each you destroy, you add to an insurmountable stockpile of terrible luck. You have to stop, but addiction is a powerful thing. Your trolling tag is arachnid's grip, and you, and your statements tend to be just a little bit overdramatic. What will you do? 
Riska, check out cool drawing on wall. You drew your own role-playing character for fun, as many floppers are prone to do. She's the best character, and you wish uh, you were her. Oh, wait, you are her. You wish uh, has been granted. Probably is a special boon for being so great at everything. Her name is Marquess uh, Spinneret Mindfane, scourge of land dwellers and sea dwellers alike, and worst nightmare to silly boy skylarks everywhere. She has accumulated more treasure and gained more levels than any member of the Petticoat Sea Grift class ever. She gained all the levels, all of them, yeah. Vriska, proceed to computer. You have a lot to do. So many irons in the fire. Ow. Lousy dice. You just can't ever seem to go anywhere in your hive without stepping on an errant, errant, errant D4. Pointy little bastards. It's just your bad luck, you guess. You've had such terrible luck ever since your accident, and it just keeps getting worse. As far as you're concerned, the world uh, can't end soon enough. Riska, oh, as you were saying, so many irons in the fire, such a tangible web. It is a web full of flaming irons and mixed metaphors. Tonight is a big night. You have a lot of meddling to catch up on tonight. Bugging and fussing and meddling. Riska, take dice. You equipped your enchanted dice set, the fabled of floor light, floor right ostet. It consists of eight D8 plundered from a ghost ship during a particularly challenging campaign. In ancient times, such weapons were employed by roving bands of gambling, gambling gnats, deadly marauders with a passion for chance. They all died off, though. Took too many crazy risks. The rolling the dice will execute a wide range of highly unpredictable attacks. So very high rolls can be devastating to even the most powerful opponents. Of course, with the luck you've had lately, you couldn't make a good roll to save your life. Save your life. Gotta do something about this awful luck. Gotta catch a break. When you worked up that, when you get worked up about stuff. You put eights in places that don't really make a lot of sense phonetically. Riska, begin middling. It's time to get the show on the road. There are so many people to meddle with tonight. After you ditch an unwelcome solicitor first, that is, doesn't she realize how rude it is to meddle? You'll fuss with her meddling later. What now? Oh, him. You thought he washed your hands of you. Strange timing that he's bugging you tonight after so long without a peep from him. Risk go deal with this guy. Oh, boy. Dog scratch. Oh, it doesn't even make it darker. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry, I have to like zoom this in. Give me one second. 